All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Riven in the top lane, and I'll be showing you guys how to beat the overly buffed new champion. Uh, this thing has been getting buffed so much by Riot, guys. Um, either way, for the runes, you want to go with Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Nullifying Orb, most importantly, and also Transcendence. I've also got Ability Haste, AD, and Magic Resist. How should I proceed? Now, a couple things to note about Gwen. Um, she's got so many buffs already. She's actually a viable champion right now. And believe it or not, she actually outskills Riven after one item for a short little while if we are like equally farmed up. So, however, her early game, you can still beat her uh, in a 1v1. You can still beat her level 1, 2, and 3. Uh, this guy's actually playing with bomb plating. That's something to keep in mind. So first of all, we want to start off trying to proc the bomb plating from Gwen. Before we start fighting her, we must proc this thing. Because otherwise, she will be too strong. I actually can't wait to reach my level 3. Because that's where trading can really begin. I don't really want to trade her yet. Because her Q actually out damages us right now. If we go for if we go for trade. Wait. They have an at least Jonga. So I'll place a ward down there too. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, and she goes like a cheesy. Okay. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's her stacks right there. She's playing smart at the moment. Every time I come close to hit my third Q, she's actually walking back. That's her Q again right there. Her bone plating is currently out. So if she were to go for the CS right here, I would instantly go for a train. Go for another tiny trade, backing up again. I'm gonna pop my potion right here. I wanna get back to full health again because we're gonna go for another trade. Popping my shield because she was gonna press her Q. She's taking like a long distance from me, which means that she's actually losing like quite a bit of CS. We're already getting ahead in farm against her. Uh, we can also go for a fight here. Let's go. Sure. She lost some XP again. I want to proc her bone playing when she goes for the CS, but I don't want to miss the uh, the creeps down here. Oh, I missed that one. Oops. All right. Oh, I missed that one too. Elise is currently on bot lane, so I don't have to worry about her. We just got our bone playing again. Now we can actually trade her. Another Q hit. CSing the cannon and at the same time getting a good trade off on her. Unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to go back right now. I'm going to have to buy my page. I would like to stay for another round, but we're much better off if we go back now because the wave. More efficient. Got another Conch Award as well. Now, this is looking really good. Let me explain. So, the wave is currently inside this position right here. Which means that if the next wave arrives, the wave will crash into my lane. Right? Which is exactly what we want. We want to start, like, freezing out the wave on our side of the, of the lane. And she will come back at the same time like me here. So, I don't know how long we can hold the wave for, but... We'll see. She will come back with no stacks. I just want to try to get her stacks, but... We're going to get kills. Okay. That's a one kill right there. That's going to be another one right there. And we push in this entire wave before we go back. And here we go. Okay, so now we can go back to lane again. Uh, seems like we actually have a bard pathing top side. Which is interesting. There we go. 
I'll take another Crunch Award. One thing to keep in mind, guys, if you can get like two kills or even three kills in bot lane through a TP when your lane is getting pushed towards you, you're basically sacrificing your lane because she will get the plating, she will get XP, which you don't. But this is still worth because we got like two kills uh, and it's going to make my bot lane win. So, And besides, I'm level six. Oh. She might go back to base right now, probably. I'm going to push this in. Perfect. I think she's probably backing off right now. Yeah, she's TPing. So she used her TP up now as well, guys. That's really, really good for us. Which means that she hasn't been able to use her TP properly here. Hmm. I had to flash immediately because... We want to stay as well. There's a ward down there. Just ping it a couple times for my jungler. Seems like she went for steel caps as the first item. That's the bone plating. Alright. Another kill from her. We're running out of potions now. She's also got the level 7. We're not level 7 yet. We want to kind of avoid her. Yeah, so far, like, ever since uh, this champion has been uh, buffed, her laning phase is actually incredibly strong right now. Uh... She doesn't really ever use her W, but when she does, she becomes even more tanky. The good thing is that this lane does actually allow you to farm quite easily. She doesn't really have, like, abilities that can catch you, so... Even if you're having, like, a really hard time up against Gwen, you should still be fine. In, like, the worst case. Nice, let's push in. If she decides to go back right now, then... Oh, she's roaming mid lane. From what it seems. She's back in the lane already. I can't wait to eventually get my... Uh, my gore drinker. Things will change for good. Well, we could kill this guy. Uh, don't I? Oh, good spell. Well, he messed up pretty badly. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, I, w I would like to walk around and see if I can kill Elise, but uh, it's unlikely, so. This guy already, uh, seems to be freezing out as well. Smart. He gets the XP. All right, time to back off. I'll get this item. I'll get another crunch ward. It appears that this guy actually never placed a single ward down, which surprises me, honestly. Like, look at this ward. It's been standing there the entire time, actually. What? <laughs> okay. Well, she's definitely smart. She's been freezing the wave around here while I was trying to roam. And we don't have my ultimate right now. And I don't have my flash either. So she could technically all in me right now. We have to be very careful. One thing's for certain, she can all in right now, whenever she wants to, so we're gonna have to avoid her for a bit, unless we get a gank here. Yeah, she knows. This allows me to actually break the freeze, which is good for me. I don't want to die for her, that's one thing for certain. This Kane is just trying to die for a Gwen who is like actually like one level ahead of me. What? Wait, what? She's really, really, really tanky, and you just just her dive. I don't think he realizes that how tanky this champion can become if 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 you dive her. Okay, it's time to go back again. I need to get Gore Jinker. Oh, it's hard to like extend my Q. Hmm. 
Okay. Unfortunately, she gets away with it. Alright, time to go back. Gwen is strong once uh, once she presses W. My TP is 15 seconds right now. Good. Now we got it. We get Longsword. There's a massive fight in bot lane so far. My TP is up right now, so the next time they try, the next time they try to like fight, we should be able to help them out. Nice. We have no platings yet. Ever since we've done a TP in bot lane, we've been uh, unable to help out, or I mean, beat Gwen. Uh, because we're missing out the XP the whole time. So we've kind of like sacrificed one thing for the other. I'm hoping that my bot lane can actually win now after the TP I did. Technically, we're still fine. Gwen is, like, once again, a champion that doesn't really beat you after she gets kills. You can just avoid her. Until the moment you, like, outscale her again. We can catch. Hmm. Wow, she, uh, the side is actually tp for it. See if I can get this camp here. Gwen is trying to have a freeze all the time, so I use that time to roam around and see if I can get jungle camps. Oh, whoops. My bad. There's no red buff from what it seems. Bard is actually top, so we could try something here. Nope. Our TP is up. Gwen's TP is coming up soon as well. I would just want to push next wave again. This is actually going to be a fight now. Hmm. That's going to be a fight for the dragon. I got my TP off for it. I believe that Gwen's TP is still down, so... Okay. I'm going to reset. I'll let the wave the way it is. She can freeze if she wants to. I certainly don't mind. But yeah, she's gonna freeze it. That's perfect for me. The wave is gonna slowly build now. Hmm. Couldn't get a catch on these guys. At least my TP forced me to get one kill on Elise. We go back again. I think my next item is going to be like an item to stop the healing or reduce the healing from uh, from Gwen. Sell this. Get a red trinkets. I'll be walking bot lane again. Trasana seems to be farming out the lane for me, so I'm going to pad bot and uh, take the farm there. I right, could probably get a kill now. What is he doing? He's going for the turrets? Okay, we got this guy too. You see how strong she is, guys? You see the the strength of this champ doesn't even have the item yet, and he nearly like she nearly one v three all of us. Her scaling is really good right now. She scales up very well. The only problem is that she can't chase people that easily with her ult. Good, we finally got the turret. Time to go back again. Uh, this time we're gonna go for Warhammer. I will buy this as well. To reduce the healing. There's a massive fight in mid lane. 
I'm thinking about pathing towards bot lane again because we could have an opportunity to kill uh, to kill their ADC. But top lane is a massive wave and I don't want to miss it. So I'm going to go down there. You don't want to miss the farm. It's important. You don't want to fall behind. Gwen is back as well. Once again, we don't have to fight her. You can just let her do whatever she wants to do. Learn from your mistakes. Elise will take this thing. I'd much rather get for myself. Oh, really? Got another catch. Even a flash from their ADC. Now we go back top lane again. We're constantly, as you can tell, playing around my teammates, guys. We're not really, like, playing the lane against Gwen that much because we just can't fight her right now. Maybe we could do it now because we have a red buff, but we don't have R, so... We're just kind of playing around my teammates all game long until we eventually, like, be able to beat this guy. We're even ahead in terms of farm right now, which is incredible. I'd like to take the turret, actually. I'll continue. Uh, okay. She's here now. I can't wait for my Black Lever. It's gonna make a huge change. I don't know if she actually pressed R or not, so... Let's find out. I like how she's freezing it. Hmm. Dragon spawns in like 30 seconds. She's freezing it. Why would she freeze it? Nah, we're not going to die for her. Well, she is smart for freezing it. If she didn't freeze, she would have died here. We've got the support here, but I don't know if we can dive him. Okay. I've got the item to reduce our healing, so... It was not as painful. Also, her W was down as well. And the ADC is also here, so my team should be able to win Dragon, hopefully. Yep. Time to go back, get uh, the Black Lever, or our next item is going to be Chainsword. We'll just straight up finish the item as soon as we can. Now we go back top again. We should be able to 1v1 her now. We're like 5 kills in. We have like good farm. We're actually ahead against her in terms of XP slightly. Like she's uh, beginning level 12, uh, 12 if I was correct. Ever since you got level 12, she didn't get the XP. Let's see if we can fight her. I'll limit test, see if it works. What we could also do against Gwen is basically bait out her W and then fight her afterwards. I'm not sure what the cooldown is. I believe it's very high. Perfect. Ah, you guys, you guys are aware. Yeah, you get. You guys are very well aware. Okay. All right. Let's take this one then. Walk back to lane again. I want to try to catch this guy, but there's a ward inside that bush, as we can already tell. Hmm. A massive fight down here. Got my TP up for it. 
We might still be able to clean up something here. Ooh, got him. That was a nice prediction. No rep buff. So. At least we got one kill in return for it. Could have been could have been much worse. Gwen is coming top. What is she gonna do? I don't know how low she is in check. Oh, she's a lot. Okay, she. I thought she was like halfway or something like that, but not like full HP. Never mind. <clears throat> nice. So now we got chain sword. I think our next item. I'm thinking about getting steric gauge. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about going for Guardian's Angel, actually. There's a ward down here. You can take it if you want. Okay, let's push. Gwen is top. I want to try to catch her. Okay. Seems like Silas is dying there. And there's also a guy down there. This game is pretty hard, guys. Not gonna lie, we are super fed. We have like six kills. We're worth a thousand gold. But they have every dragon in the game. And my teammates are, you know, stacking like 10 deaths right now. So it's it's actually a lot more difficult than uh, than what it looks right now. I can basically one v one anyone in this game, but my teammates are starting to fall behind. They're all dying everywhere. So, and the fact that they have three dragons makes a huge difference. So, let's actually come down here. I could try to kill Gwen. Ah, she's going to flash as well. Hmm. She doesn't even wanna, she doesn't even bother trying. Which is fine for me. I can just take this camp here then. Got TP up for bot lane but they're winning. Okay. 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 She's strong. She, once she presses R, she becomes strong afterwards. That's her... Uh, that's her power there. But then again, you can just walk out of her, like I said earlier. I like how she tries to chase, though. I bet she's gonna try. Oh, really? I messed up. Oh, really? Oh, man. I messed up my Q. It expired. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, man. That was my mistake. Ah, oh, I tried to, like, get an... Uh, I wanted to pop my R, get an auto attack off, and then hit my Qs. So I could hit the max damage. But it was just, I think, like, less than a second. Maybe half a second of me having to hit my Q. And between the auto, it didn't work out, unfortunately. Whatever. I think in order to counter this person, I'm uh, actually thinking about just going for a Guardian's Angel for now. For the team fight. I think we can 1v1 Gwen anytime we want right now. Uh, doesn't really matter what we build. Man, this Silas is having such a terrible time. I mean, look at that, man. Stacking like 11 deaths, like straight up. Alright. 
Let's push top. Oh, they're actually doing a uh, Baron. Nope, nothing we can do. The team is not there. Team wasn't uh, grouped up at all. Look at the damage of this guy, though. Oh, there. really? Hmm. I can't really kill her because she will dash away. Nice, the timings. Let's push top. Gonna push it all the way. Got my TP up right now, so if something happens, I can uh, help them out. Got my flash up as well. There's this camp spawning here. Uh, uh, do you even realize I'm like fighting him or? <laughs> Wait, that, I, I wonder if, I wonder if Silas even noticed that I was fighting him. He was just casually like farming out while I was trying to fight. Wait, what? Okay. I was just gonna try. Ah. Oh. Alright. Well, this game is looking interesting. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything. Uh, Gwen is just getting catches literally everywhere of the, over the place right now. She killed my Silas many, many, many times during this game. And, uh, yeah, my entire team is also dying like 10 times, so. I can't really split. I can, but Gwen is stronger than I am right now, so I can't split anymore. I can't really do anything there. Uh, they're also about to get the four, the four dragon now, so. I'll get stopwatch. Maybe we can do something. Keep this to this board here. Okay. Here's Skadar. Yep. Can jump. Hmm. Nope. Can catch her. Not sure what this guy's doing. I think she decides to just... Oh, the timings. <laughs> Alright, we got her. Well, we're actually getting this dragon now. Maybe we'll try to fight. Got him. Oh man, at least gets the, the, the final hit. Oof. He couldn't smite the dragon. It actually worked out for him. Should have jumped closer to Elise to hit my third Kuner as well. Accidentally only hit uh, Azir. I can't wait to reach my level 18 eventually, man. Uh, once I reach level 18 and I actually get full build, I should be able to 1v1 Gwen. I'll get this camp here too. I'll be farming out everything. I think they might pass. They might. Here we go. Got her. Another assist for me. We're level 17 now. Oh, we need level 18 now. We've got a lot of gold to spend. I'm even thinking about going for Grudge in this game. 
and thinking about it just to maximize the damage. I think if I get Grudge, I could literally kill anyone with one combo before they their dragons become like useful. I'm thinking about it actually. Okay, time to go back. I'll finish off the Guardian Angel. I don't I don't need to um I'm just gonna do one. Will he walk in? Okay. She's strong. I got stopwatch. Okay. Well, my team could push right now. They should be pushing. Maybe we can get turrets now. My stopwatch is still useful for something. I was worried that it might not be useful. Good. Adi is also right behind us. I think we could keep pushing. That's another catch. Also, I don't think we can do anything with this, but we will see. Like, uh, Azir is spawning now, so. Oh, it's hitting me. Well, Gwen is alive right now, so we are being forced to go back. They should. I don't think they should stay. I'm going to TP in with a new item. Here we go. Get this. And we're going to go Grutch. My spirit is not lost. Man, I think, I think Silas could jump into Gwen now. I could TP. And we might have been able to even win that and then end off the game. To be honest. Okay, I've got Grutch now. I'm full build now. I'm calling out the team to go mid lane. We should be able to win the next fight because I have Guardian's Angel. And besides, we might even get a catch down here as well. So if we get this guy, then it's, it's going to be over for them. Here we go. Oh, I can catch him. Like we can catch this guy. Okay. We got you. I've got a Guardian Sancho, so I can survive. No problem. Oh, what? What? It's an AP? It's an AP Varus? Are you kidding? He literally killed me with like one Q. We're actually winning this game. Perfect. Okay, guys. Let's actually take a look and see how much damage we did in this game. I'm, I think if we did like something like 20k damage. Not too much, I think. But we had a lot of trouble playing against uh, Gwen in this game. But because we were like roaming and actually getting things done, we were able to turn the game around quite easily at the start of the game. So, we done a total of 22k damage for the runes is the runes we've been using. This is how you play against Gwen, guys. After she got buffed. Anyways. Uh, this game was being played live on stream, guys. I stream like six times a week. Check out the link in the description if you want to see me play live. But thank you for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.